this film is about mm, a group of displaced people, uh, displaced untouchables in um, southern state of Kerala, uh, uh, southern state of India, which is Kerala, sure. in Western Ghats. Uh, the parallel to this butterfly's life um, is uh, nothing directly to uh, mm. the movie or the theme of the movie. Right. But there is a character, um, a lepidopterist, who has come to smuggle this endangered species out of India. You know, mm -hmm. this, uh, that is, uh, this um, butterfly is very beautiful, uh, which has a great market uh, in the Western world mm -hmm. for decorative purpose or collecting species. And, uh, it is, there is a butterfly smuggling itself a uh, racket. Uh -huh. But butterfly smuggling racket. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And actually, uh, this particular movie, the Papilia Buddha, uh, is some kind of parallel to the people that are displaced people. Uh, there is a drastic uh, deforestation, ecocide, and which will go hand in hand with the genocide. Okay. The displacement of the people. Of people. So the ecocide of the land. Right. And and this your film. So th let's do a little background in the sense of. What are untouchables? I think people may not understand, or you may hear a little bit about it. Yeah. What is the caste system of India? What exactly does that mean? What, caste what's that? system is one of the most uh, sophisticated tool of oppression ever human mm -hmm. beings uh, sure. invented. And it is very peculiar uh, contribution of Indian culture, I think, mm -hmm. uh, which is a millenniums old uh, system. Sure. Um, and according to Hindu caste system, mm -hmm. which was uh, structurally, um, uh, it was coined uh, or actually it was based on Brahminical social order, mm -hmm. uh, which has this four caste. Mm -hmm. We all know the Brahmana, uh, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra. And uh, they are the people of Varnas. Uh -huh. uh, but there is people who beyond this Varna, this caste, that, that people are outcast. Okay, so Varna is the l lowest social class that's sort of officially recognized, but if you're outside of that caste. Also, the Shudra is, that, uh, that is also, they are also caste people. And they're also coming this Savarna um, um, group. Mm -hmm. But the people who, who beyond that, right. uh, and the Shudra, uh, cast is I should, I should say below that, right? below that, below that, because below they're yeah. under, they're under they're in the under social that. hierarchy. Right? They are considered the large word we use, untouchables, uh, or Indian context now, uh, they call Dalits. Dalits, and also there is Adivasis. Also, there is Aboriginal or tribal people. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a vast uh, the indigenous uh, people, of indigenous India. people of India. Okay. Uh, uh, now there is uh, Dalit term, take this Dalits and Adivasis. Um, uh, they are beyond the caste system. Mm -hmm. uh, and traditionally, uh, Western people call them as untouchables. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not even considered within the caste hierarchy. Right. Um, is what does that mean? Does that mean you can't touch them, untouchables? Why do they call them untouchables? Uh, because it, there was um, a fear uh, of pollution. If you touch the people, you mm -hmm. get polluted. Uh, the right. upper caste people get polluted. Okay. And probably that is the untouchable, the word was coming out of that. And mm -hmm. uh, they are not supposed to be touched. If you touch them, the you get pollu polluted and you have to have some rituals to do. Why? So how, what, if, you, if you can't interact with people of the upper class, what does an untouchable do to survive? How do they, how do you, if you're in the untouchable class or caste, what do you do to survive? How do you make no, a living? Th that is like, um, untouch th that is, um, that word untouchability, uh, it doesn't mean they're not touching, you know. Actually, that, uh, that is very ancient tradition of uh, sometime the p unseeability also there. Uh -huh. in s uh, it is not a monolithic, uh, uh, like uh, all untouchables are partic belongs to a particular class or particular group. Uh, mm -hmm. There is in every state in India, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, state to state and culture to culture, it is regionally variations are there. Uh -huh. And um, um, 
in certain time, not right now, the certain but a group of people even unseeable. Mm -hmm. And if Invi you we say the invisible, upper, uh, uh, the invisible but unseeability, uh -huh. this untouchability is go along with the unseeability. The people, if you see them, you get polluted. The Brahmin, the upper uh -huh. caste get polluted. Wow. Uh, so there is unheadability too. Uh -huh. And if some uh, in southern states, in uh, uh, not the, the people uh, are not practicing that in the fullest form, but when the caste was in this classical form practiced, um, the some people is the sound, uh, certain, certain people's sound may pollute the upper caste. Oh uh, that God. kind of okay. um, uh, beliefs uh, is were there. You know. So your film, Papilio Buddha, is about a group of, of untouchables, unseeables, unhearables, un unthinkables, I guess, who uh, are trying to survive in this circumstance. But this untouchability and unseeability and heritability was like a past, you know, mm -hmm. it was right now. Um, uh, this movie is uh, focusing on southern states, uh, one of the southern states of Ker uh, India, which is Kerala. And there is um, traditionally we can see that uh, these people uh, predominant um, untouchable groups in Kerala were mm -hmm. um, segregated into colonies. I see. And uh, they they are landless laborers right mm -hmm. now. So there is a huge movement going on uh, for getting their land back. The land struggles. Mm -hmm. The real land struggles. They used to have the land. I mean, how do they lose the land? Uh, actually, there is um, the Adivasis. The indigenous people had land, and um, the government uh, during uh, they they used to live in forest, uh -huh. and the forest became the national property of uh, naturally the land went to government. Mm -hmm. But there is certain provisions for indige Indigenous Lands Rights Act uh, okay. in India after independence there was. But uh, uh, the Adivasi's land or indigenous people's lands being grabbed by uh, different social uh, interest groups, mm -hmm. um, the corporate companies or, or rich individuals, with the uh, upper caste, uh, upper class, uh, agriculturist, you know, in several ways this land uh, taken by them, but mm -hmm. in certain part of India, the huge corporate land grabbing was is going on mm -hmm. it related to mining, coal mining, and all kind of things. Wow. How many reasons. people live in India? How, How many, many people live in India? How big of a country is it? Oh, one population. One point two nine billion, almost. Uh, uh, Okay. 1.29 billion people. 1 billion 290 million people. Yeah. Interesting. We'll come back to that. I'd like to take a moment now and actually see a clip, the, the trailer mm -hmm. for the film Papilio Buddha. I know Chamber of Osa in the Malay, Mapper, Samaran Turing. Territory lady. Then two under the Malukunu Tandilla. A boomy there to a ya. He bloom, my room, but turn on the Nulan Varinunda. Manina Pedica, Chadi Tatame. Manina Pedica, Chadi Tatame. Oh, Muna Kunime. Any good in your water? Come, my dear. 
നമ്മൾക്ക് ജീവിക്കാനുള്ള ഒരു അവകാശം ഭരണഘടന നിയമപ്രകാരം നമ്മളെ കണ്ണിൽ കണ്ട ദൈവം ഡോക്ടർ അംബേദ്കർ എഴുതി വെച്ച ഭരണഘടന നിയമപ്രകാരം ആ ഭൂമി കിട്ടിയിട്ടില്ലെങ്കിൽ ഈ മേപ്പാറിൽ നിന്ന് പോവൂല 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 ഉറപ്പ And wow, okay, so Jayan Sherian, who's the filmmaker, the director of this movie, uh, that we just saw a clip from, um, there's a lot going on there. I think one of the probably here, there's a few questions I have, I mean, I'm going to say right away, right here in the United States, as I think you discussed it when I first saw mm -hmm. the film, the idea of Gandhi being a bad guy <laughs> is hard to... I mean, most yeah. Americans are pretty raised to think that Gandhi mm -hmm. was one of the greatest leaders of all time, the, the man who peacefully took India to independence, uh, despite the long history of conflict mm -hmm. with England, before, b b Great Britain before that. So um, how is it received in the United States? And I, and I also want you to tell me a little bit of how this film was received in India, yeah. because obviously it's about the oppression mm -hmm. of these untouchable lower caste mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. by the upper caste people? The film um, is, right now you can see it's a fiction, but based on real events, the recent history of Kerala, the recent history of land struggles in mm -hmm. Kerala. So uh, most of the events we depicted, the people who involved in the film also, uh, who involved in the la land mm -hmm. struggle. Sure. So, uh, first uh, we have to take these films before we release to a censor board. Mm -hmm. And uh, initially... India has a censor board? India has a uh, censor I board. Brought, I brought this up to a friend of mine who works for the New York Times. He said I, he, he didn't think that was true. He thought democracy, mm -hmm. it was a democracy in India. It's a democracy, but uh, uh, actually we have in 1951 there is a Cinematography Act. According to that act, any movie which is uh, having a public exhibition need a uh, film's certification by uh, given by censor board. Mm -hmm. the ini the, the it has uh, different levels. Mm -hmm. The regional censor board in Kerala, in Trivandrum, sure. initially uh, banned this movie, initially uh, say that this film is uncertifiable. Mm -hmm. So it is, uh, it cannot, uh, we got a certificate of refusal. And that certificate is uh, in the website. We put it in the well, it's, a, it's called a certificate of refusal. We yeah, refuse yeah, to accept your film. Then I, there is an appellate process. And I went to our producers and uh, we mm -hmm. went to uh, and, uh, appeal this uh, to a process to, uh, for a review committee. Mm -hmm. The review committee asked us to there is uh, 12 filmmakers, including filmmakers, mm -hmm. uh, and 12 members of the committee uh, review the film, and they say uh, they can give an A certificate, like uh, equal to NC-17 here, uh -huh. uh, in order to give that... Uh, X rating, in other words. Yeah. X rating. And um, I, we have to make 26 cuts of the film, and uh, about... Um, 26 cuts. cuts uh, and blurs, and a few changes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I have to mute a lot of uh, scenes, uh, the dialogues and everything. So there we refused to accept that and we went to the Supreme Appellate Board. We have something called uh, uh, FCAT, Film uh, Certification Appellate Tribunal in Delhi. Mm -hmm. It's about eight months uh, legal fight. We wow. Finally we reached there and uh, they asked us to mute the quotation of Ambedkar, that's one of the character. Yeah. Um, um, uh, one of the character uh, quoting Dr. Ambedkar, one of the great untouchable leader and uh, who, who wrote Indian constitution, Dr. Ambedkar uh -huh. um, uh, made a statement about uh, Mahatma Gandhi, Gandhi's um, 
Satyagraha uh, in Pune. Uh, uh, actually, in Ervada jail is a great Satyagraha of 1932. Uh, uh, the, the that, that's a, what's a satyag Satyagraha, the longest fasting of fasting, Gandhi. Fasting, right? Uh, just so people know yeah. Satyagraha. And, and of course, we know that uh, uh, Gandhi, one of his great a weapons of a nonviolence non in his struggle, in struggle. I call it a weapon of nonviolence, no. right, was to fast. The reason for that, actually, the British government gave untouchable a separate constituency in the election. Mm -hmm. The Muslims can have that constituency. Uh, Christians have the separate uh, constituency reservation uh, mm -hmm. in constituency. When um, that is called a, a communal award mm -hmm. that's given by British Prime Minister, then Prime Minister, Donald Trump. Matter of Ramsey. number of seats in the Congress. Yeah, yeah. No matter what the vote yeah, is, yeah, you get yeah, at least yeah, this number yeah. of seats. That is uh, given by British uh, Prime Minister Donald Ramsey. Mm -hmm. So Gandhi who was against it. Gandhi says there is no separate constituency for untouchables. It's oh. only the Hindu. Uh, the, the untouchable. If there is separate constituency, there is a division, and the majority. Um, India Hindu Hindu majority India claim of the so-called upper caste Indian uh, freedom fighters. I mean, mm -hmm. the, then the ones freedom who took broad independence. Yeah. India. Uh, actually, that is against their interest, the mm -hmm. against the Hindu interest. Oh, okay. So, um, uh, he uh, Gandhiji initiated this Tagra in order to um, to make Dr. Ambedkar all the untouchable leaders to give up their rights, the communal award rights. So, that, so that's that's what, now I've talked about this movie to a couple of friends mm -hmm. of mine and we d and did not know or yeah. think that yeah. fasting, yeah. This, no, this supreme nonviolence form of struggle, was actually used against yeah. the poorest, poorest people, people of India yeah. to prevent them, to try and com to, pr to convince them, force them really, yeah to not accept rights under right. their constitution. So um, Dr. Ambedkar then say fasting is the foul act and it is a filthy act, it's the most coercive act. And that was the quotation from the book of Ambedkar, what Gandhi and Congress have done to the untouchables of India. The Congress India. party and the yeah, co okay. Congress party was done, have done to the untouchables right. of India. There is a book written by Dr. Ambedkar which is published in 1946. And that quotation, the government want to cut off right. from the film. Right. To, to to it's, it sounds like it's like Snowden and Manning today. Right? Mm -hmm. You just you say the wrong thing. You, it's bad publicity. Yeah. It, it goes against yeah. the interests of the and government. There is a scene of uh, Gandhiji's effig effigy burning. Mm -hmm. uh, seen the supporters group burning the effigy of Gandhi. And effigy. And uh, effigy. The, uh, effigy. You see that in the film, yeah. right? An actual, and that has caused you problems here in the United States, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and the uh, and uh, the government want to blur the entire scene and the mute wherever um, and there is also there is a, a scene Joseph Levillard's book mm -hmm. um, was referenced to uh, referring in this uh, um, movie and uh, there's mm -hmm. one character is um, referring Gandhiji's bisexuality <laughs> uh, and also there and you have a gay scene in the movie, gay scene in the movie. you have a kiss in two guys yeah. the american guy yeah. and this the the really the star the yeah, indian yeah, star yeah, of the yeah, film yeah, yeah. are actually kissing at one yeah. point at the very beginning of the yeah, movie yeah. which that uh, that surprised me as well yeah, yeah, yeah. how did we don't have a lot of time how did you bring that into it actually there is in ca in india uh, homosexuality was a crime until two years back. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a session 377 was making criminalizing homosexuality. So there was a huge uh, legal fight and movement was going on and last year, uh, the year back uh, before it was uh, uh, take it down mm -hmm. and this law was created by British people in 19 a in 1800s mm -hmm. you know, as the colonial law really. Right. Um, so, uh, in uh, Indian cinema, in Bollywood and all this language, mm -hmm. regional films, sexuality means heterosexuality. Mm -hmm. No other kind of sexual expressions um, reflected in the literary works or, or right. um, there is exceptions uh, in the cinema especially. But mm, You don't see Indian many gay scenes in yeah, Bollywood. But not at all. <laughs> but in India, we are uh, normal people. We all, uh, we leave all 
uh, full spectrum of sexuality and we have uh, transsexuals we have transgenders we have homosexuals we have gay lesbian mm -hmm. yep, but uh, our day to day life we practicing sexual sexuality wow. in in its full spectrum but our work is not representing that but th this very natural uh, that uh, which is um, in the movie there is um, uh, exploring our kind of sexuality. Okay. Well, we, want, we have another clip of the movie. Maybe we could go to the second clip. And um, which is, what are we going to see next? So there is uh, a scene, um, th th there's a land struggle scene. Uh, the group of these displaced people um, worshipping um, their political leaders are gods. Okay. Even we'll talk about it more after yeah, we see the yeah. clip. So let's run the yeah. clip. While we're waiting, oh, there it goes. Okay, Jayan, uh, Cherian, what, uh, your, this is your film, Papio Buddha, Papilio Buddha, and uh, tell us what we just saw briefly. Uh, that's a scene. Um, there is l Occupy Government Land Movement. Uh, mm -hmm. There are several uh, land movement, go, uh, land struggle going on all over south, southern India. Mm -hmm. uh, in this particular place uh, in Kerala, there is landless. Uh, Dalits occupying government land or forest mm -hmm. land or uh, corporate land uh, and um, uh, start to build their own huts and they start to live there. Squatters, we call Squatters. Them. The squatting, like uh, there was a uh, longest struggle, was like a 10 year struggle. Right now, there mm -hmm. is a place called Aripa uh, in, in Kerala. Mm -hmm. uh, there is about thousands of families squatting in wow. land and government tried to evacuate them and they can use violence or in, in cases even non-violence yeah, non-violence to, non -violence to try in, and in this evict movie them. the non-violence is kind of prime weapon of the hand of gov uh, government wow i've never heard and we only have a minute and a half left where can people how can people find out about this movie papilio buddha and uh, where you can, can they go see to it? the film uh, it is going to be a uh, north american premiere is going to be in canada montreal film festival in montreal film montreal festival. festival august 21st to september 2nd uh, is going to be in montreal and uh, um, you can google papilio buddha or go to www.papiliobuddha.com uh, okay, so www.papilio, P-A-P-I-L-I-O, yeah. B-U-D-D, 
H A H A dot com, com. Yeah. right? Papillabuddha.com and see more, get more information about this film. Half a minute to go. What would you like people to leave, leave people with from this movie? What, what should people get from this movie? So um, there is severe, uh, terrible human rights violations happening all over India. Uh, it's still uh, in the name of caste. Uh, and uh, I want to bring attention uh, people's world's attention to this matter. And uh, casteism is the worst form of racism practiced uh, in uh, all of uh, in India. And the human rights act activists all over the world uh, have to give uh, attention to this matter. Uh, but it was the message. Thank you very uh, much, Jayan Charyan, for joining us.